even though the crypto market is coming down today and the CRO token is coming down as well, it's actually holding up quite well compared to some of the other cryptocurrency tokens in the market. Now, that being said, the whole market's coming down, so everybody's getting wrecked right now besides that one mysterious meme coin that's probably going to come down tomorrow, right? There's meme coins that are pumping somewhere in the crypto market. There's Every day there's a meme coin pumping, but the crypto market's coming down. Kronos is actually climbing back up in its rank. Yes, in its total market cap. You know, what is the number one, two, three, four, ten, the top 50 cryptocurrencies? Well, Kronos is climbing up in its ranking again. Why is this? What's going on? Also, I want to talk to you guys about something that I really want to see out of crypto.com in the next year and a half and why I think it could happen. I'm talking about the crypto.com exchange launch. I'm not talking about the app, but I'm talking about the exchange launch in the USA. Let's get into this video, guys. Smash the like button, subscribe to the channel. Let's talk about Kronos, Crypto.com, and the CRO token and get into what's going on right now. As you've seen already, at the time of this recording at least, Bitcoin is below $59,000, currently sitting at $58,900. It could easily come down to the fifty to $52,000 level. We could get a bounce at any moment as well. This could be a wick down below 60. 60 is pretty strong level usually, except we are slipping down below right now. It seems like we've lost that level potentially. So unfortunately, that means that Crowcoin could slip lower, but it is actually climbing up in rank. I was looking at, I look at Crowcoin every day. I'm a holder of the Crowcoin token and the Kronos ecosystem with some of the memes in the Kronos ecosystem. This rank is right now number 32. At one point, we were all the way back up to like 38, almost into the 40s in terms of rank, which tells us what? This tells us that Kronos, though it's down 12% over the last seven days, is down less than other coins that are crashing harder, like Maker, like Mantle, like Filecoin. And you can just see this. Look at the biggest losers over the last seven days, and there's a lot of really big Losers, dog with hat down 40%, ba Brett on base, 38%, Ethna, 36 we got 35%, we got Jasmine, I did a video on Jasmine earlier today, down 32%. So why is Crow Coin holding stronger than some of these other coins? Because it should, really, because Crypto.com is an extremely strong company that is continuing to develop more products and services for their clients and bringing new people into the crypto space. And so this coin, people joke that it's a stable coin because it doesn't go up very fast. Well, the good news is it doesn't come down very fast at all, relatively speaking to the rest of the crypto coins, at least. Now, this brand is very strong. This is a, you know, latest brand film that they did with Eminem, Marshall Mathers, right? We know that they've got a variety of different partners from the UFC, to F1 Racing, to they have the Crypto.com Arena, all these different things that you guys have seen in the past. But, you know, they also have a top performing chain. Now, it is very, very small right now in the grand scheme of things. There is $88 billion locked in DeFi, and Crypto.com came out with a Kronos chain at the very peak. You know, right here, see this drop-off? This is literally when Crypto.com came out with their own chain, okay? So... This is when they came out with their chain, when all the money was leaving the DeFi economy for crypto. What I do want to highlight for you, though, is that they do have a top 20 chain with $419 million locked up in the ecosystem. And, uh, you know, really not a ton of, of daily transactions, but that could increase over time if we continue to see things trend in the right direction. Now, as they continue to expand the exchange and get more partners, this is... Part of the reason why I think this coin is not collapsing, right? The the company's strong. They make a ton of money. The token has been a quote-unquote, you know, people joke. It's a, like a stable. It's not a stable coin, right? But it's very sturdy in its price. It doesn't go up a ton at times. Uh, it doesn't crash hard, really. Though in a parabolic bull market, in that last leg of a crypto bull market, I think the crypto.com token is going to blast off somewhere between $1 and $5. Let's see exactly how it goes. Um, but Chris tweeted this out the other day, July 2024 product updates. And, you know, they, they do have a lot of new updates, airdrop arena, new referral programs, 
you know, a lot more coming out and they're continuing to build to kind of make everything better. Um, here's another tweet by him. We've backed AI into our market section and now provides real-time blockchain signals and crypto news so you can find, you know, this is really cool. This is all really cool stuff and they're continuing to develop. Now, here's one big problem that's been going on with crypto.com. Is the crypto.com exchange not available in the U.S.? And the answer is no. I tried to sign up yesterday, but said no to my jurisdiction, the USA. And if you look here, exchange doesn't exist for U.S. yet. Your government is to blame for that, says this random uh, Reddit user. A lot of upvotes on this. It's why CDC is not in the crosshair of the SEC. And so while it is a bad thing that crypto.com exchange is not yet available in the U.S., it is a good thing that they're not in the crosshair of the U.S. Uh, SEC. Now, crypto.com was here at, with their exchange, and I'm not talking about the app. Again, the app is available for you. The exchange is not. And what's the key here? Why do we want the exchange? Because the fees on the app are very expensive. That's how they make a ton of money because it's simple to use. It's a great app. It's super easy to use, but the fees are pretty brutal. You don't, if you're day trading on the crypto.com app, you're going to lose all your money. The crypto.com app is good for just DCAing in and building a portfolio, but not trading around. If anything, you buy cryptos as an onboarding ramp through crypto.com and then you move it over to DeFi uh, or to a cheaper exchange and then you go ahead and you can start using a cheaper exchange um, like a like a Blowfin, for example. By the, it's a great leverage trading platform. If you guys want to sign up for Blowfin, that is available. It's no KYC required. There's no jurisdictional issues. So that's in the link uh, pinned in the comment section for you guys and free money if you want to sign up for that. In the meantime, as we're waiting for this exchange to come to the U.S., but they did have an exchange arm in the U.S. for institutional clients, millionaires, essentially. They had to get rid of it because they are scared of the SEC. Now, here's the good news. How can this come about? When can they bring it? Well, Mark Cuban recently called on the SEC to fire, uh, Gar uh, calls on SEC to fire Chairman Gary Gensler and, and really called on the current presidential administration to fire Gary Gensler. Mark Cuban's a billionaire. He's done with Gary Gensler. Also, you had the Republican nominee coming out and saying that he wanted to fire Gary Gensler on day one. So Gary Gensler could be stepping down at some point in the future or getting fired at some point in the future. If that does happen, that could prove to be a very good thing for crypto exchanges like Crypto.com to then be able to potentially come back and, and consider launching in the U.S. I would like to see this happen in the year 2025. I think that it's possible in the year 2025, especially if we do have a new presidential administration. If we don't, who knows? Let's see how it shakes out. I don't know how it's going to go. But there's a chance that Gary Gensler could step down. If that's the case, I think it could give Crypto.com more confidence and more of an opportunity to revisit coming to the U.S. if that can happen. Not only would that be great for the exchange, but I think that would be very, very good for the Crow Coin token as well, because obviously within their own exchange, they could promote their own coin as they do with the rewards, with the Crypto.com Visa card, uh, and with a variety of different things to promote the Crypto.com token and also promote the Kronos chain. They do a great job of promoting the Kronos chain within the Crypto.com app, in my opinion. You know, they actually make different ways where you can link the Crypto.com DeFi wallet to your main wallet that's actually very easy to use. And these are the things, as more users get onboarded to the Crypto.com exchange, to the Crypto.com app, to the Crypto.com DeFi wallet, that is what is going to grow the Kronos chain. That is what is going to bring new buyers to the Kronos token who use then Kronos coins as gas to do transactions on the Kronos network. This is a brand new chain still, guys. The total market cap for crypto is coming down. The total value locked up in DeFi is coming down. We have not seen the parabolic leg of this bull market yet. Cryptocurrency total market cap has not achieved a new all-time high. There's a chance we go to $10 trillion. Crowcoin is valued way low versus Bitcoin right now at its historic lows. We've never seen Crowcoin this low versus Bitcoin. If it comes back to its best valuation versus Bitcoin historically, that is 1,100% gains. That is a huge, huge play 12x versus Bitcoin, and Bitcoin could go to 200,000. So Bitcoin could 4 or 5x. We could then see Crowcoin 12x over that 4x. That is huge gains. Those are the things that could potentially bring us to not only a dollar, but possibly the $2 to $5 range. 
look, guys, I see what you see. It's painful right now. Bitcoin's coming down. Crowcoin is coming down. But there's no doubt that Crypto.com owning that domain, building the products that they're building, trying to play it safe with the U.S. SEC, these are good strategic moves. Getting the proper licensure in each country before just entering in, limiting the liabilities and the possible you know, legal shutdowns, just getting out before uh, you know, anything hits the fan, right? Uh, these are good moves. I like to see it. Crowcoin is climbing in rank right now. You just saw it in the overall ranking of crypto coins. However, the price is falling down. Now, what are some of my targets for Crowcoin? Unfortunately, guys, we could see this thing come back down at this point to the 6.6 cent level, possibly down to the, you know, to the 6 cent level. Worst case scenario is probably right at this, you know, 5.7 cent level. And the only way that happens is if Bitcoin really slips down to this 50 to $52,000 range, which unfortunately is getting possible. We could get a bounce. I'm hoping for a bounce. If you want to trade Crowcoin and trade the volatility of any of these crypto coins that we talk about on this channel, you can sign up for Blowfin using the link to Blowfin in the comments down below. When you sign up and you deposit $2,000, you get $300 for free. Check it out. No KYC required, guys. I think we got a lot of bull market left, but there's no doubt that this is a lot of pain right now. Hang in there. Touch some grass, guys. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. That's all I have for you in this one. Let's see how this rest of this uh, weekly candle plays out. We are closing a weekly candle tonight. So keep an eye on that. Uh, a very big red weekly candle for Bitcoin indeed. That's all I have for you in this one, guys. I am Crypto Kip. This is Crypto Report. Smash the like, subscribe to the channel. Two videos for you right here if you want to check them out, guys. Please know none of this is financial advice, guys. I'm just reporting to you guys as I see it day to day. Uh, until next time, peace, y'all.